Okay, this is the same grammar presentation that in your book is on pages 274 and 275. The page numbers indicated here are from an earlier edition of this book. Don't worry about this 250, 60, 261. And we're talking about gerunds and how a gerund can do all the same things in a sentence that a, um, any noun does. So here we have sentences where the gerund is a subject. Kayaking involves some risks. Swimming builds endurance. Not inviting him will cause resentment. Okay, then it can also be the object. They enjoy kayaking. I went swimming. We don't advise not inviting him. I'm going to stop just a minute and let's look at kayaking so you know what this is about. I'm going to do Google Images and kayaking. It's a kind of boat that was used by Native Americans, especially in Alaska. It's this kind of boat. You get It's really basically one person usually. This one shows two, but it looks kind of like that. This is a kayak. Make it bigger maybe. Yeah. So that's what they're talking about. It involves some risk, actually, yes. Let's go back to... Okay. And then it can also be the complement of a verb. Remember when it, the verb is a linking verb, like is, are, we talk about a complement and not um, an object. Okay, my sport is skiing. His problem is not exercising, and look at how the negative happens here. I put the not before it. Okay, and then um, an object complement can also go after a noun. He spends time reading. She found him not working. Uh, this came out kind of funny. That happened when I uploaded the slideshow. Don't worry about it. Okay, a gerund can also be the object of a preposition. She insists on, and here is the object of on, going out every weekend. He's used to giving parties, okay? They have a reason for not inviting Michael, okay? Here again, see how the negative is done here. Okay, it can be a possessive. Bob and Helen worry about Emily's having so few friends. And you see this is a possessive. Or they, you can use her. Bob and Helen worry about her having so many, so few friends. Okay. And, or they worry about the children's having so few friends. Or they're having so few friends. These are possessives. And what this means is, when I say Bob and Helen worry about Emily's having so few friends, I mean Bob and Helen worry because Emily has so so few friends. It's a different way to say it. Okay, and it can be passive, which gets a little difficult. Okay, so I can say inviting them to her wedding was a nice gesture on her part. It means a nice thing to do. Then I can make this negative. Being inviting to, invited to her wedding was a great surprise to them. So here is an active, and then it becomes passive here. Having invited them to her wedding made her feel good, and then it goes passive. Having been invited to her wedding was a fond memory for them. 